I'm going to go through some best practice um, rules um, and ideas really I suppose that will make life a lot easier for you as you go to start building projects and, and managing and using data um, inside Arc Map and also in Arc Catalog and these are some of the things you would probably want to do right at the start of a project when you start to gather data, organize data and start to bring your layers into a, a project view inside Arc Map. Um, so we're going to start right at the beginning and kind of work through what I would regard as best practice. Um, we're going to be managing and storing our data on a memory stick and we may well be moving that memory stick from compu computer to computer. Um, so some of these things will make life easier when we start to do that. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is, is go in and make a, um, a folder on the memory stick to store all the data um, that I'm going to be collecting for this particular project. So I'm just going to go and do that inside Windows Explorer. So I'm going to navigate to my memory stick, which is there. And I'm going to create a new folder um, for all the data and, and the project that I'm going to be storing on here. So I'm just going to simply create a new folder, first of all. So there we go. Um, called my project. In fact, I'll just call it my GIS project. Um, so everything's going to go into that folder. Um, so once that's done, the first thing I'm going to do is, is connect that folder to my um, ARC catalog and I'm going to create a new folder connection first to do that. So if I right click on here I can go connect it to a folder and then I'm going to browse through my computer to the memory stick and then I'm going to browse, browse down to that folder I just created called my GIS project and I'm going to connect that folder up. So at the moment we can look under there and there's the folder is completely empty so this is where we're going to start storing um, all the data um, that we start to amass for this particular project um, we need something to store it in so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a geodatabase so I'm going to again right click on the folder itself and I'm doing this all now inside Arc Catalog so from now on everything all the data management that we do is going to be pretty much inside Arc Catalog um, with a few exceptions, but I'm going to first of all create a file geo database to store all of my data inside, or at least the majority of my data inside. So I'm just going to call it my GIS project database. So there we go. So there's my file geo database, and currently it's got nothing inside it. So we're going to start. I'm going to start to bring some data into it um, to start with. Before I can bring any data into this um, geo database, I'm going to have to put some other data onto the memory stick, um, and this is often where you may have to do this this management, or at least uh, getting the data onto the memory stick using um, Windows Explorer. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and move some data um, using Windows Explorer. Um, onto the memory stick first of all. So I've got a couple of um, bits of information on my desktop which I'm going to move. So I've got a folder here called WindSpeed um, which I want to um, <coughs> move and import into my Geo database. So first of all I need to move it onto the memory stick so I'm going to simply copy that folder and then I'm going to put it inside my GIS project, um, there's my geo database. I'm going to create a folder called original data to store this original data. And then I'm going to put my new data inside that folder. Okay, so that's one. I've also got some other data on my desktop which is currently zipped. So I need to cut, I need to extract that file. I'm going to hopefully better extract it straight if I browse to the memory stick. So and hopefully straight into that folder that I just created called. So I'm going to go to my GIS project and then hopefully I've got that original data folder and I'm going to extract it straight into there and I'm going to create a new folder inside there to store it as well called 
shape files and I'm going to extract it in there. So there we go, it's extracted all that data into those various folders. So if I now look under um, Windows Explorer inside my GIS project folder, I've got a geodatabase which is currently empty and then I've got a folder created called original data with two subfolders in it with the data which is now ready to import into my geodatabase. And now to import it into my geodatabase I need to go back into the catalogue, into Art Catalogue to do that. Um, so here we go, here's my the same view again but inside Art Catalogue and if I click here currently all I can see is the geodatabase so I need to refresh the catalogue here and now I can see that new folder called original data and there I go I can see the subfolders there's the one called shapefile um, which has got my shapefile in and then I've got another piece of data inside here so I can now start to import this some of this data into my geodatabase um, and again you've got a couple of ways of doing this so I'm going to just simply click in here and I'm going to um, right click I'm going to export to the geo it's a single file I'm going to export into the geodatabase so I've already that's the input and now I just need to set the output location So the output again is folder connections, it's there. I need to select the geodatabase um, as the output location and then I need to give the file a name. Now I'm just going to call this study area and I'm going to accept and then it will import that shapefile into the geodatabase. And I'll go through exactly the same process with all the other data that I was going to bring into the Geo database. And depending on how big the data is, it will take some time to import. So we get the, the confirmation tick that it's imported it into the Geo database. And now if I look inside my Geo database, I can see that that is now that feature class, um, which was a shapefile, has now become a feature class as it's become, as it's now inside the Geo database. So that's the way to start to getting data and managing and organising data and bringing it into your geo database. Um, so that's the data management side of things um, and that process is the same for all data as you start to organise and manage it. And now if we go back over to ArcMap itself um, and there are a few things that you want to start and organise right at the beginning before you start to bring any data into ArcMap. So I've got a new blank uh, project open here and I haven't started to drag any data in from the catalog into my layers area over here. Um, so before I do that the first thing I want to do is go and set some of these properties in the map document properties. Um, the first one I want to set down here I want to set this storing relative path name so I want to make sure this box is ticked and I also want to set the um, default geo database which is quite a useful thing to do as well so that everything is always by default stored in the same geo database um, so I'm going to simply browse to the geo database that I've just created and I'm going to set that as my default geo database and I'm going to simply apply that and then I'm going to simply select OK so now I'm able to um, start to bring data in from there my geo database so you can see that it has a little home icon because it's the default geo database um, and then I can start to bring some information in to my project and then of course when I finished and of course I might want to come back to do some more work to this project at a later date I'm simply going to save this project so I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it again back to my memory stick and I'm going to probably save it in the same location so I'm going to just create a new folder working. And I'm going to put the um, put the arc map document inside there
So now if we look, go back to the ARC um, catalogue and have a quick look in there while refreshing it. So we've now got the file, the project file in there. Um, we've got the inside that folder called working data. I've still got the original data that I copied in using Windows Explorer and I've also got the um, geo database um, that I created inside Arc Catalog and also the feature class that I imported from within Arc Catalog all organized nice and logically inside my original folder on my memory stick. And of course as the project and the data grows you can simply follow this method to um, add more data and import more data into your geo database.